Chang'e 4 Chinese, Chang'e si hao pinyin, Chang'e si hao is a planned Chinese lunar exploration mission, to be launched in December 2018, that will incorporate an orbiter, a robotic lander and rover. Chang'e 4 will be China's second lunar lander and rover. It was built as a backup to Chang'e 3, as Chang'e 2 was to Chang'e 1. Following the successful landing of the Chang'e 3 mission, the configuration of Chang'e 4 will be adjusted to meet new scientific objectives. Like its predecessors, the spacecraft is named after Chang'e, the Chinese moon goddess. Overview The Chang'e 4 mission was first scheduled for launch in 2015 as part of the second phase of the Chinese Lunar Exploration Program. But the adjusted objectives and design of the mission imposed delays, and it is currently scheduled for launch in December 2018. This mission will attempt to determine the age and composition of an unexplored region of the Moon, as well as develop technologies required for the later stages of the program. The Chinese Lunar Exploration Program has started to incorporate private investment from individuals and enterprises for the first time, a move aimed at accelerating aerospace innovation, cutting production costs, and promoting military civilian relationships. After Chang'e 4, China will follow with a series of other robotic lunar missions that will build towards an attempted human landing in the early 2030s. Components Kwekiao Relay Since Chang'e 4 is planned to land on the far side of the Moon, CNSA first launched the Kwekiao Chinese, Keqiao, Pinyin, Kwekiao communication relay satellite to Earth-Moon L2 point on 20 May 2018 to relay commands and data between the lander, rover and the Earth station. The relay satellite has a mass of 425 kg, and it will use a 4.2-meter antenna to receive X-band signals from the lander and rover, and relay them to Earth control on the S-band. Topic. Lander and rover The lander and rover are expected to be launched six months after the launch of the relay satellite, toward the end of 2018. It will be the first landing on the lunar far side, an unexplored region of the Moon called South Pole Aitken Basin, a vast basin in the southern hemisphere of the far side which extends from the South Pole to Aitken Crater. Topic. Landing site The proposed landing site is the crater von Karman 180 km diameter in the South Pole Aitken Basin on the far side of the Moon. Regarding its composition, it contains about 10% by weight iron oxide FEO and 4 to 5 parts per million of thorium, which has been used as a replacement for uranium as nuclear fuel on several thorium reactors, landing date in January 2019. Topic: Science objectives. The science objectives include To measure lunar surface temperature with time Measure the chemical compositions of lunar rocks and soils Carry out low-frequency radio astronomical observation and research Identify the structure of cosmic rays Observe the solar corona, investigate its radiation characteristics and mechanism, and to explore the evolution and transport of coronal mass ejection between the Sun and Earth. Topic. Science payloads The communications relay satellite, orbiting microsatellites, lander and rover will each carry scientific payloads. The relay satellite will perform radio astronomy, whereas the lander and rover will study the geophysics of the landing zone. These payloads are, in part, supplied by international partners in Sweden, Germany, the Netherlands and Saudi Arabia. Relay satellite The primary function of the Kwekiao relay satellite, which is being deployed in a halo orbit around the Earth-Moon L2 point, is to provide continuous communications between Earth and the lander on the far side of the Moon. Additionally, this satellite will host the Netherlands-China Low Frequency Explorer NCLE, an instrument which will perform astrophysical studies in the unexplored radio regime of 80 kHz to 80 MHz from translunar locations. 
Microsatellites is part of the Chang'e 4 mission, two microsatellites 45 kg each named Longjiang-1 and Longjiang-2 will be deployed into lunar orbit to observe the sky at very low frequencies 1 MHz to 30 MHz, corresponding to wavelengths of 300 m to 10 m, with the aim of studying energetic phenomena from celestial sources. Due to the Earth's ionosphere, no observations in this frequency range has been done in Earth orbit, offering potential breakthrough science. Lander The lander and rover will carry scientific payloads to study the geophysics of the landing zone, with a very limited chemical analysis capability. The lander is equipped with the following payloads Landing camera, LCAM, Terrain camera, TCAM, Low frequency spectrometer LFS to research solar bursts. Lunar Lander Neutrons and Dosimetry LND, a neutron dosimeter developed by Kiel University in Germany. In addition, the lander will carry a container with seeds and insect eggs to test whether plants and insects could hatch and grow together. The experiment includes seeds of potatoes and Arabidopsis thaliana, as well as silkworm eggs. If the eggs hatched, the larva would produce carbon dioxide, while the germinated plants would release oxygen through photosynthesis. It is hoped that together, the plants and silkworms can establish a simple synergy within the container. In 1982, the crew of the Soviet Salyut 7 space station grew some Arabidopsis, thus becoming the first plants to flower and produce seeds in space. They had a lifespan of 40 days. Rover Panoramic Camera PCAM, Lunar Penetrating Radar LPR, is a ground penetrating radar. Visible and near infrared imaging spectrometer VNIS for imaging spectroscopy. Advanced small analyzer for neutrals ASAN, is an energetic neutral atom analyzer provided by the Swedish Institute of Space Physics IRF. It will reveal how solar wind interacts with the lunar surface and perhaps even the process behind the formation of lunar water. Topic References. <references>